Hello all and welcome, and I am the MGTOW Philosopher, and in this video I would like to talk about a fellow by the name of Armored Skeptic, who a while back made an anti-MGTOW video. Now this is part two I'll be responding to, and this is really the meat of it. This is the main video. His part one was essentially just a two and a half minute skit where he spent the entire time mocking, ridicule, and making fun of MGTOW, making light of it. And in this video is where he really goes after it by essentially attacking some low-hanging fruit, is what I would call it. Uh, some very small channels with very few subscribers. Uh, you know, he didn't really go after anybody big. That seems to be his uh, shtick. He just, uh, you know, seems to be somewhat of a bully, in my opinion. Uh, he just goes after people who are easy to go after, essentially, where there's not going to be much blowback. Uh, and his excuse for that is that, oh, well, you know, it's funnier if I go after the low-hanging fruit. I think that's just an excuse. I think he just doesn't want to go after anybody that's uh, big or near as big as he is. It's just easier to pick on people who have small channels, I think. I've looked at his channel. I haven't seen him going after too many people with large audiences. So maybe he's afraid of essentially, oh, I don't know, ticking off too large a group of people and um, possibly losing subscribers, so he just goes after people with small followings. Anyhow, that's just speculation on my part, whatever his reasons might be, beside the point. So in this video, he talks about MGTOW specifically, and he goes after three very small content producers and spends the majority of the time ridiculing them and mocking them. So let's see what he has to say, shall we? Whoa, this going your own way thing is really easy. Boss, apparently there's a lot more to it than just not marrying chicks. Like what? Like there's a community online? A commu- Oh, fuck. You mean I can't just be a thing without identifying as that thing? No, boss, you got- Okay, so, yes. Yes, you can. I mean, uh, <laughs> who said uh, you couldn't uh, be a thing without identifying as that thing? Uh, MGTOW is not a thing. It's not a movement, it's not a cult, it's not an organization, it's an individualistic definition. It's just a bachelor. It's just being a bachelor, going your own way. MGTOW is a phrasal verb. Of course, you can just go your own way without having to belong to some kind of group. You gotta go onto the forums and make sure that you're going your own way the right way. Uh, that's a misrepresentation of the majority of MGTOW. The majority of MGTOW are not ideological group thinkers, okay? There's no preset, prescribed rule set that you have to follow to go your own way. That's not the case. Oh, it's, it's really complicated. What do you mean, the right way? And MGTOW is just a man that goes his own way, right? What? That's right. Precisely. Ay, ay, ay. That's all MGTOW is, just a man going his own way. Of course, you need to make it seem like it's more than that, so you have to dishonestly represent it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to make a long video mocking it. Uh, let, let's continue, shall we? Well, sort of at the core of the issue, I suppose it is, but here, look. I'll show you basically what a MGTOW really is. Check this video out. Ay, ay, ay. This is uh, a guy in a dress... Uh, protesting, very unusual, what the heck, uh, fat loser wasting his time protesting, he's wearing a dress to symbolize the feminizing of men and society. Meanwhile, no MGTOW in his right mind would actually do this. I mean, that's fine, he's doing that, doesn't mean he's not MGTOW, but it's a bad idea, you're not going to accomplish anything this way. But sure, why not go out there and put on a dress and uh, protest like a feminist would? Yeah, that's going to accomplish something. Not really. So do you want to explain what MGTOW is to Rebel? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, so this guy, he laughs uncontrollably, but he's unbiased and a good skeptic. Uh-huh. Hmm... MGTOW is a worldwide movement now. Uh, social media can be thanked for that. What it is is uh, men have decided to no longer participate in relationships with women as a result of all... Yeah, so this guy, that's not true at all. First of all, he's wrong about that. We will pump and dump women. 
We do what's best for us. We don't worry about what's best for women. That's how women operate. We're going to operate the same way. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Right. Women went their own way a long time ago. They've been pumping and dumping guys for as long as I can remember. No problem with guys doing the same thing. All the issues of family courts, uh, false rape allegations, and all kinds of slander coming from feminists. Uh, for the most part, uh, you know, we're not going to say that we're anti-woman. I know that we're often accused of that, but it's very unfortunate. Uh, that's not why we're here. We're just trying to protect ourselves. This is a reactionary movement. I guess maybe it takes bachelorism in, into more of an activist level. No, it doesn't. The MGTOW are not activists, except, geez, I like somebody like myself making a channel, if you could call that activism. I'm not out there physically protesting because I know it would be a waste of time because the media, government, all controlled by feminists, by leftism, academia, media, all controlled by the left. Me going out there and protesting will accomplish absolutely nothing because the mainstream media won't cover it and you'll just be ridiculed and put yourself in possible danger. No, thank you. Where we're absolutely not participating in relationships with women to stay away from all the problems that exist. Wow, kind of feel bad for laughing now. That was actually a really clear, concise, and informative description of what MGTOW is. Yeah. Yeah, like you would know. First of all, you're not a MGTOW guy. Second of all, you call yourself a skeptic. Third, you spend a lot of time attacking MGTOW. And in those attacks, you say a lot of things that show you really don't know what you're talking about. You're a very ideologically minded person for somebody who hates ideology. And by the way, the fat guy in the dress, he's right, except for the fact that there's no relations with women. That's a monk, okay? There's different kinds of MGTOW guys. And keep in mind, that was a man wearing makeup and a dress, and he was out there with a sign protesting, which is essentially a waste of time. We see how well that worked with MRAs who got infiltrated by feminist women who took it over. Yeah, and that reporter chick's pretty hot too, right? Yep. Now I'm really curious about this community. It's not a community. That implies a group or collective, which is what he's trying to go for. He's trying to imply it's a group or collective, otherwise he wouldn't be able to do an attack video. Total misrepresentation. I want to look up more videos about MGTOW. Wait, boss, I, I really suggest you don't do No, I know what I'm... Oh, please. He's trying to make it look pathetic here. Doing. Boss, no, I'm serious. Don't... No, look, what about this one? Sexy MGTOW. Well... So I've never heard any of these channels that he's looking up. Notice uh, these are all small fringe channels with very small followings. He's not going after anybody who's an actual voice uh, that's an actual voice or considered a voice by MGTOW men that anybody really uh, watches in large numbers. Jeez, I wonder why that is. I bet I can relate with this guy. I'm pretty sexy. Oh, boys. Today we will be discussing women as non-human beings or simply not being human. What? If the standard of human being is a man, and women do not have the same capabilities, the same standards as a man, then they cannot be human. What? Let us look, of course, at feminism, since it is the essence of female nature. The as What? Women are not feminism. The Okay, so pal, that's right and wrong. Women are not what feminism is, of course. But feminism is about women and for women, hence the name feminism. And no, it's not about equality. Feminism is responsible for many a woman working. Really? I thought World War II was. And no, 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 no. First of all, that's some low-hanging fruit, pal. Picking on this guy with this small channel. And by the way, no, World War II was only marginally responsible. Feminism was mostly responsible. Okay? But you need to understand, see, this guy isn't well-educated on some of these subjects. He makes these grand, broad, general statements, but... A lot of the time, they're only partially true, okay? He likes to speak in broad generalities and make absolute statements. Let me, get, let, let me explain something to you, pal. Five million women entered the workforce between 1941 and 1944, but after the war ended, three million of those five women, million women left the workforce and went back to being housewives. So the grand total of women who entered and stayed in the workforce after the war was a whopping two million.
It's a big number, but it's certainly not the grand, overwhelming number that you were claiming when you say World War II was responsible for the huge numbers of women entering the workforce. Absolutely wrong. And what is often the reason for having women working? And by the way, men do most jobs better than women, okay? Not to mention the fact that you don't have a flooded labor market, which depresses wages. And then, of course, feminism destroying the traditional family, which is why we have a lot of the problems we do today in Western society. But continue. Themselves support their family. It isn't for finding any joy in work or making any sort of innovation in any particular field. I'm sorry, are you implying that women have never made any innovations in their fields? One word. Curie. No. <laughs> oh, this guy must be dating a feminist. Uh, look, pal, that's an old trope that feminists always like to uh, pull out. Mary Curie. Uh, is that all you've got? Are you aware that only 8% of patents have a woman as the primary inventor? Are you aware of that? Is Mary Curie the best you've got? 8% of patents have women as the primary inventor. You were saying, Mr. High Horse? No, it is about being independent. It is about earning money so that women can buy things instead of leeching the money off of men. Okay, well, isn't that a good thing then? I've heard MGTOW complain that women, quote, leech resources from their husbands. If a parasite can get what it wants without sucking and leeching off of the host, it is less likely to be terminated. If a parasite doesn't leech resources off of its host, then it's not a parasite. Not necessarily. It can be a parasite if it leeches those resources from the state via taxing men. Well, I guess that didn't occur to you. So that is why women would want to, to get resources. You mean to earn their own resources? I'm still having trouble understanding why this is a bad thing for men. Uh-huh. I have to work. Working for someone else so that they can give me money so that I can be independent from men. Does that actually sound like independence to you? Well, as independent as one can be, yeah. I mean, on some level, everybody is dependent on somebody else to give them money. That's okay, so this guy, he chose to use an exam as an example of MGTOW men in general. Well, I'm sorry to say the guy sounds a little like a fool. Uh, he's definitely choosing low-hanging fruit to represent the mainstream of men who are going their own way. I think that's intellectually dishonest. That's kind of how our economy works. If women actually wanted to be independent, then they would have, in mass, moved off the grid. Your conclusion is, okay. is that independent women should want to leave society? What the fuck? Women's notion of independence is clear mimicry. They are not even remotely following the definition or act of being independent, even when they have the rights to do so. So you're saying there's a feminist conspiracy to make women work so it's less obvious that they're leeching resources off of men. Jesus, man, stretch before you reach that hard. As a lot of you know, I have a lot of experience debunking creationists. Okay, so I think what the guy was trying to say is that women use feminism in the system to get jobs because, meh, I have a vagina. And then essentially, in his mind, they're stealing those jobs from people who would be more productive in those jobs and therefore deserve those jobs more. And this is actually something creationists do. They presuppose the motive or outcome of something, and then they reverse engineer reality to fit that outcome. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like what you're doing with MGTOW? But, uh, I see, I see. All right, sorry. What you're doing is called confirmation bias. You see, you have an idea of what MGTOW is. So what you've done is you've sought out evidence to prove what you have presupposed to be true. Hmm. All right, let's move off this guy uh, as he's clearly somebody that this armored skeptic, skeptic guy cherry-picked to prove armored skeptic's presupposed point. So let's move on. Women are doing. God, I refuse to believe this is an accurate representation of the movement. Okay, very interesting. Very nice. So disingenuous. Uh, very disingenuous. This little protestation of his that I refuse to believe that this is an accurate representation of most MGTOW. 
it's a setup. It's a setup so he can do a fake search and find other MGTOW channels, make it look like he's honestly searching to try and find some reasonable MGTOW and you just can't, when really he's already cherry-picked the people that he's going to talk about beforehand. Very dishonest of you, pal. Yet further cherry-picking to prove your own presuppositions.